Okay, so really quickly, I wanted to go over Demon Kamara because obviously it's been a while since we've had this boss specifically, so I wanted to go over this one just because uh, most of you guys probably already know what to do for Malik because we had him just a couple of weeks ago. But um, yeah, the meta's changed quite a bit since this character or since this like boss has come out. This is the team that I've been messing around with using on it. Um, I know a lot of people might not have Droll, but he's really not. He's not very like crazy for this fight i just like it because uh demon kamara gets his uh he gets his ult pretty quick so the single target ability from droll actually does a pretty decent amount of damage plus if i can get a level two of his aoe it disables buff and debuff cards so uh it can kind of like cut down on what he can use um so it's it's pretty helpful but honestly like green escanor is pretty much the mvp of this team and I think that's pretty cool, <laughs> just because uh, I feel like it's been a while since Green Escanor really has gotten a whole lot of like spotlight on anything. So you kind of want to just throw a bunch of stuff out. Uh, I've got Estorosa uh, because I, I just wanted to have like a decent like type advantage team. So the counters aren't like anything super crazy, plus I'm not like prioritizing getting like a high level counter by any means. So I mean. You can see it just it's kind of helpful just to uh, sort of like focus his attacks on one character um, and like most of his attacks are either going to be single target or he has an AOE card but it's still going to hit his counter either way so we're actually in a really good spot here uh, I don't know if we'll be able to kill this turn but I mean we're we're in a pretty good position yeah I think we've got this cool so going into second phase, I mean, obviously you guys might not be able to go like <laughs> like two turn and that was kind of like good RNG. The, the previous run that I've had of this did not go that smoothly. But um, <clears throat> yeah, second phase, you basically just throw out the Escanor ult if you have it. And then uh, we'll actually go ahead and throw this out just in case. But I think, well, he's probably gonna survive this. Just barely. Okay, so the, the droll card will actually clean up here. But uh, that was like best case scenario. It normally doesn't go quite that smooth. So we'll try it one more time because I've got a couple of extra runs that I can do here. But uh, I actually kind of like this boss. It really like, so the fact that you can't use a bunch of like buffs and stuff like that or else he'll target you and deal a lot more damage to you. Um, it's kind of cool because I feel like most of the meta for like PVE events is mainly just to throw uh, Derriere on the team and you're pretty much good to go. But using Derriere on this team will get you absolutely destroyed because as soon as you use a blue card from Derriere, uh, you he starts doing like 50% more damage and he will like absolutely wipe out a character within like two turns of you using it. So uh, it can be very uh, detrimental. So we're just gonna do the old basic stuff here again. Try to see how our RNG fares out because I mean honestly this is going by pretty quick. I know Seton put together a video. Uh, with a lot more like free to play friendly characters so if you don't have some of these characters you may want to go and look into that because i mean it's just gonna be a little bit more like coverage for like maybe some of the characters that you have but uh i don't know this is kind of what's working for me at the moment i feel like esterosa is just like an absolute unit as far as uh you know pve goes which is very cool so i think we actually may be able to go ahead and finish this turn again I don't even think we're going to use the counter. We'll just throw nothing but damage out. Hmm. Oh yeah, we're good. He's got enough ult gauge. We're doing good. So that's another like pretty quick phase two transition. Very interesting. And then uh, we should be good. I don't have the <clears throat> I don't have the uh, ignite card this turn so we're gonna have to kind of just like push damage I guess but uh, hopefully even if we don't kill him here which it looks like we're going to yeah uh, hopefully the uh, counter would have cleared that up for us so uh, that is pretty much it I mean I hate that I don't have a more like free-to-play friendly team I guess uh, I noticed that uh, Seton had a variant where he was using the green hawk but i honestly did not boost my hawk up because i mean i just didn't really think he was going to be that good of use like good using him plus uh if i'm not mistaken at this point his uh his like 50 percent stat increase is already like expired at this point like that's not active anymore so um i don't know uh, i think he was literally just using him for his ultimate like that lowers stats and stuff 
So, I mean, I guess there's just like different kinds of strategies. Obviously, you don't have to use the team that I'm using. Uh, you don't have to use like mono green. You can use different characters and stuff like that. Lost Vein is not a bad character for this. Um, I just, I don't know, I wanted to put something together that would maybe like focus <laughs> and like do it a little bit quicker. So I guess uh, this uh, worked out for me. I don't know. Uh, let me know. Let me know what you guys are using. Hopefully you guys can put it down in the comments so that way other people who maybe don't have these characters can see uh, and maybe get some ideas from you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, feel free to subscribe for more content in the future and I will see you guys later in the week. we got a ton of content to do because <laughs> this patch is huge. So uh, yeah, see you guys then.